Hello there and welcome to another Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be looking at a very simple tool, a uh, si simple software that you can use to speed up your workflow, uh, your Blender workflow. And uh, this tool allows you to bake uh, maps, different maps like ambient occlusion, cavity maps, uh, normal maps and other things uh, that may take a lot of time to bake in Blender. So for example, in this uh, model here. Uh, if you watch my previous story, you know that uh, we were using ambient occlusion uh, to kind of simulate this moss uh, that or algae, whatever you want to call it, that grows uh, around corners of the building uh, because of uh, kind of, uh, is it humidity or rain, whatever. So <coughs> we were using ambient occlusion uh, to simulate this. I don't know why it's too dark there, but uh, it's supposed to be greenish. So let me reduce uh, the ambient occlusion is it this yes anyway if we're using the ambient occlusion to simulate let me try let me see I'm wondering why it's too dark I'm not sure okay how uh, we're supposed to be uh, this rock I think the ambient occlusion is overpowering it's, that's not the rock. Let me just select this face. Select. Okay, it's called rocks. So I know the ambient occlusion is this here, and I think it's overpowering uh, the moss. Let's try overlay. Anyway, this tutorial is not, okay, I think that's better. Uh, so this story is, is not about shaders. It's about uh, the tool that I want to show you that uh, allows you to easily and uh, bake uh, texture maps uh, very fast. So yeah, we're using ambient occlusion uh, to bake out, uh, to kind of tell Blender where the moss is supposed to grow and uh, in, a diff uh, in those corners and everything. So uh, if you try to bake the ambient occlusion, because if you want to speed up your render times, uh, mostly if you're going to be using cycles, uh, it takes a lot of time if Blender has to calculate the ambient occlusion. So sometimes you need to first bake it out and then uh, render later. Uh, so, or other times you want, you simply want to export uh, the entire uh, the textures you have here into a different uh, program. Maybe you, you want to use this in Unreal Engine, uh, like uh, I usually do, uh, or maybe you want to use, send it to us, another person that that uses a different engine that doesn't support uh, the, the kind of node setup we have here. Uh, so you need to bake this down into a single map. Uh, the problem with is, uh, is that uh, if you try to bake this, uh, it would take a lot of time. And uh, since uh, this image is a 4K image, I was baking, I wanted to bake this into a 4K image uh, let me show you. Let me make sure. Okay. So if we go to is it, do, 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 image settings, you can see this is a 4K image. So if you try to bake uh, the ambient occlusion at 4K, it can take a while. And you can see uh, also the quality of your ambient occlusion will be heavily dependent on the render samples. And uh, the more samples you have, the more render time it will take. Uh, so we have. Let's try baking the ambient occlusion of this building at uh, just one sample and, just, and you can see how long it would take. So, and uh, just to make it easier, let me, okay, the problem is this is a single mesh. I wanted to separate just uh, this, but let me do that actually, just to show you that uh, even when we're just baking a single, a small portion of the mesh, like this so let me move this and then separate it so if we were just baking only this part here only this mesh not including all the other parts so blender has to only calculate uh, the corners the corners for this so you would think that uh, it would be a little bit faster uh, but because our resolution is 4k and uh, uh, which is a big resolution uh, if you try to bake even at one sample it would take a while so can see the percentage here wow. it's a bit faster but uh, because it's just a, a single mesh uh, but and we are we have set this to one sample so let's try setting this to a relatively good sample about uh, actually we are baking the normal map that's why it's taking it's, it's a bit faster if we baked at uh, the ambient occlusion 
then it would take uh, even more time maybe not because uh, the samples are, are really low and uh, they'll produce something very unusable and if we change this to 30 you can see it's really rough and and very unusable if we change it to 32 <coughs> it will take even more time so let me show you a tool that i've found very useful uh, for this uh, let's select this uh, make sure that the object you're you're exporting uh, has uvs or the, the object that you want to bake has uvs and uh, also has the triangulate modifier applied because uh, the tool uh, the tool I'm using uh, only accepts uh, FBX meshes uh, that have been triangulated. So apply the triangulate uh, modifier and then export as FBX. Make sure you have objects selected. I want to export this again because I already exported that. And uh, now let's open up the tool. So the tool is called Xnomo and uh, this is a simple tool that you can download yourself. Uh, just go to Google and type in Xnomo. It's a free tool. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. And uh, yeah, you download it and, and start using it. So I'm just going to show you how you can use it yourself in your projects. So it has loaded it up and uh, the, what you want to do is uh, go to this but the, the all the buttons you're going to be using and are on the right side. Uh, so you want to load in your mesh, uh, which should be the high density or high detailed uh, mesh. Uh, but uh, since we only have one mesh, you don't we're not we don't have a lower polygon mesh of this or a higher polygon mesh of this. We only have one. Uh, we are going to load this as let me first remove this. I don't know why. I don't remember loading in. So load in the texture. So you, you click on high definition, right click on this area, add meshes, and uh, then navigate to the mesh, select that. And then you need a load definition mesh as well, because if you try to generate maps, it will give you an error. Oh, and it also gives you this error that uh, FBX only supports triangular meshes. And that's the thing I was talking about a few seconds back. I think this was not triangulated. So I'm going to export, re-export this back again. So make sure you have triangulate on. You don't need to apply it. Uh, FBX, will, the exporter will apply uh, the, the modifier when you're exporting. So make sure you have selected only and then export FBX. Uh, then we need to remove this and then remove mesh then add mesh so you can see now <coughs> we are not getting the error we are just getting an overwrite error so let's close this and uh, make sure we have everything set up we also need a load definition mesh uh, because I had tried this project out I already have one but uh, let me remove that uh, if you don't have a mesh here it will give you an error uh, you need a low polygon mesh uh, model as well and uh, since we don't have that we we'll just load in uh, the the mesh we are using as the high definition and uh, the low definition uh, mesh so then you go to the bake options and select what you want to bake uh, if you had a high definition and a low definition map uh, mesh you would just you select the normal map to bake the normal but since we don't have that I will not bake that uh, you, you can see that uh, there are a lot of different maps you can bake here we have height map we have ambient occlusion which we which is what we want to bake uh, we have thickness uh, which is the same as cavity map uh, here is called thickness and uh, we also have the cavity map I, they do different things but uh, if you want to bake uh, the cavity map which is just the corners of uh, the sharp edges of the mesh uh, you you will use thickness instead of cavity map I don't know why they I don't know maybe it's that's what it's called and I've been calling it wrongly but uh, yeah so I don't want to bake that I maybe just to show you how the map would look I will bake that as well I'll also bake the amid occlusion and uh, you can play around with the different settings I uh, can see the samples uh, bias whatever you want but I, I found that uh, uh, the default settings are okay and uh, yeah the, the thickness doesn't have any settings so I think yeah and uh, if you want to change the resolution you change it from here you have to change the, the width and height otherwise it will give you a stretched map so you can set it to uh to a maximum of 32k uh if you want to use 4k you can use 4k but uh, 
Uh, remember, the higher the resolution, the more time it will take. But uh, it will it will it will take less time than it would take if you are using a blender to bake to bake uh, the texture out. So I'll just set this to five twelve just to show you uh, how the just to make it quick. And uh, so you also have to change the padding here. The, the padding is how close? Let me go to this. Uh, do, do, do. So you can see every island has some padding or separation distance between uh, the other uh, the other islands and uh, that's what uh, they are talking about so if you're baking uh, your baker or, or normal x or blender will give up will also bake a few extra uh, pixels or a few extra textures outside uh, your 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 islands are uh, depending on the the uh, the margin you set here uh, so you can see we set three pixels here uh, so depending on the margin you set here and uh, it will bake a few extra pixels outside uh, that if you set this to a very high value like uh, maybe 32 or 60 uh, it will bake out more pixels outside the island and uh, sometimes it will start intersecting with the other with the other islands so you need to make sure you play around with the, the edge padding which is the same as margin uh, for blender uh, so I set up uh, uh, three I don't know if it's, if the units are in pixels uh, but I set mine to three because uh, that's what I set uh, in blend as well and then uh, you're good to go so then you just hit generate to start generate generating the map the maps so this will also overwrite uh, any previous maps that you have uh, if you uh, if you had generated the maps in X normal so to to avoid that uh, because I still want those maps to be uh, there uh, you can change uh, the final output you can see the different maps that I that I exported Let me, just for the case of this tutorial I'll just save them there so you can see you can also change the format I'll change this to PNG then also you need to give it a name so I'll call this AO and now we can generate so you can see the, how how fast the ambient occlusion is baking So I'm going to show you the dif the difference in, in speed uh, if we change uh, the bake size uh, to 512 like we did. Let me see if I can do that here actually. So so we, let's make sure that we are in bake and uh, hit N here. Oh, I don't think I can change uh, the image size. Uh, but uh, yes, ambient occlusion takes a while to bake in uh, in Blender. So. Uh, but uh, you can see this I think is the cavity map let me close and uh, we can now import let me close this project here I'm not using it now we can bring in import let me just drag and drop it directly here so go to the desktop new folder so you can see we have the amino collusion and the thickness so I'll just select this drop it in here and uh, if you hold on control shift uh, you can see how the ambient occlusion is affecting uh, this object. Okay, so this part, this object here, is not part of the mesh. That's why you see that uh, its UVs is kind of messed up. And uh, yeah, so the other thing is that uh, this we need to apply uh, this amb ambient occlusion to all the other materials we have in the scene. So instead of doing that, I'll just duplicate this mesh, Shift D. And then go to the materials and delete all the materials there and then create a new material and import my uh, material so that all the parts of the mesh are using the same material and now you can see how the ambient occlusion uh, works here uh, you see that we have a few problems here uh, that's because uh, that uh, the resolution we are using is really low uh, so if you want to improve uh, the resolution or uh, the quality of the back you would have to improve increase uh, the the resolution to something like 4k and uh, that's why I baked out uh, at uh, 4k so let me unhide everything here just to show you and just to make sure just so that I don't mess up my project let me reload uh, this project again and hide 
so we have two meshes here you can see this is uh, the one uh, that I used uh, actually, actually it's not let me show you what I did what I did what I did so you can see in the shader in the original shader uh, let me go to the rock texture here just to show you in the original shader I was using the ambient occlusion directly from the blender uh, ambient, ambient occlusion node uh, so you can switch switch that out so let me just duplicate this shader to be used for this and uh, switch this ambient occlusion node uh, for this ambient occlusion map that I've baked in uh, X normal and you can see that uh, there won't be any big difference so we have this can connect this and replace it to this make sure we remove this and uh, again connect this to this so we don't need this node anymore uh, but uh, we need uh, to play around with the settings a bit here uh, because uh, the amino occlusion that we have baked is a bit different so you can see but it still produces the same results as you can see and uh, also the quality of uh, the amino occlusion you bake will also affect how uh, your final output looks but i think this is good enough you can see yeah so this is a that's a quick way to bake ambient occlusion